I need to talk to you. You're leaving? Look, I know you think I'm letting her walk all over me, but after what happened in the meeting room, with the knife, I think taking Faith home will be better for everyone. I don't think that matters anymore. Krista? Did I ever tell you what I saw out there when Xavier went missing? No. After we got separated, I found myself in this desolate place. I was overwhelmed with this feeling of hopelessness. It was suffocating. There was this monster with a staff. Its gut had this opening like some sick mouth filled with what looked like fingers reaching out to consume me. But what scared me most was there was a part of me that wanted it. I, I wanted to crawl inside just to make that feeling, that despair go away. Eric, I think Xavier was right. And I have to finish what he started. Krista, what are you talking about? Ascension. We have to leave this place. And I want you to come with me. Think about it. A new home, free of blight. Faith would be safe. We could be a family. Krista, I... How do we even know this is real? And what about Rachel? Eric, I need you to listen to me. I have seen what's coming, and we cannot stop it. Do what's right for you and your daughter. It's worth the risk. Olivia, please. I need to know what happened to him. <sighs> okay. I'll give it a try. Okay. Orson, look up and to your left. Now just keep blinking while you drift off. Look into the deepest part of yourself. What do you see? What do you see inside your eyelids? Trees. Okay, good. What do you see in the trees? Light. What is the light doing, Orson? It's... Burning! It's burning me all over! What's burning you, Orson? We should stop. No, I need to know. Help me! Orson, Angel, what's burning you? Did you know him? He worked at the still mill, until the accident. Big Smile always talked about playing guitar. Thanks anyway. Nora? Your Faith's mother. Can we talk? How's Faith doing? That's why I came to talk with you. I need your help. Of course. I'm happy to help. Faith has been acting so strangely since she came home. Drawing strange images and repeating cryptic phrases. And the way she acted towards you, her own mother. If there's anything you can tell me about finding Faith that might give us any clues. It's like I told your husband. My car went in the ditch because of the fog, and when I got out, I found your daughter. I wish I knew more. Have you ever heard the phrase, to suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees? Where did you hear that? Why? I... I got a letter from my brother. Obviously, it wasn't really from him. Probably some asshole in town who's playing a sick prank on me. But that was scrawled on the back. To suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees. Can I see the letter? There's... things in it I'd rather not share. Look, I appreciate how your husband got me the chance to plead my case to those Foundation fanatics. Then come with me and explain this to them. Back to the Foundation? No thank you. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for Faith. Nora, please. I'm just trying to help my daughter. Fine. Let's go.